Our first El Nino in four winters is here, and let's talk about what it could mean for temperatures in the western United States this winter. It's Lee Weather Team Meteorologist Joe Martucci. Thanks for clicking on this video. One of the main tools, if not the main tool, winter forecasters use to determine what will happen near you this winter is what is the state of the El Nino Southern Oscillation. In other words, our water temperatures in this area here, the equatorial Pacific Ocean off the coast of South America, above average, below average, or just around average. If it's above average, it's El Nino. Below average is La Nina, and then we're in a neutral state if we're around seasonable. But you see a lot of these oranges and yellows here, that means temperatures are above average, and yes, we will be in an El Nino. Now there's different stages to this El Nino. There's weak El Nino, moderate El Nino, strong El Nino. Looks like we're gonna be either in a moderate or strong El Nino. Let me explain to you a little bit more about what an El Nino actually does. So typically, we're talking about winds that blow from east to west, these trade winds, and that pushes the warm surface waters towards Asia. However, on occasion, that's going to happen this winter, the trade winds weaken, allowing this warmer water to push closer to South America here. Now, as a result, when you get in El Nino, you have the Pacific jet and the polar jet staying away from each other most of the time. And these jets are fairly strong. So typically in an El Nino, you're talking about the southern tier of the United States being wet, laden with moisture from that Pacific jet, and with the polar jet staying to the north in British Columbia, in the Yukon Territory, in Alaska, usually means warmer temperatures across places like Wyoming and Oregon and getting into Washington as well. Now I'll show you what the opposite means. This is a La Nina. That means when the Pacific and polar jets merge, and that means for the West, typically a little bit on the cooler side, closer to the Canadian border and then wetter in the Pacific Northwest here. So this is from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. This is the temperature outlook between December through February, what we call climatological winter, typically the coldest three months of the year. Well, NOAA is saying that we're likely going to be above average for places like Washington, Oregon, northern part of Idaho, as well as parts of Montana. And then leaning above average for a wide swath from the Midwest going into the northern plains and then into places like Napa Valley, into Los Angeles, and much of Nevada as well. Now, there are more specifics with this, and on our Across the Sky podcast, which will come out on October 30th, we're going to talk a little bit more in detail with WeatherWorks, Inc. about what this should mean in more detail for parts of the West and the Great Plains as we go into this winter.